to be back. It is so nice to be back. I was busy, really busy. Um, before I even start this video, um, upcoming video is a mail opening video. I ordered parts for a 2x72. I had to. Like, I've got a 4x36 right now, and the thing is, it, it works, but it takes forever to sand the knife. So, that is why I don't do lots of knife videos, and I kind of love making knives. I love making knives. So, by the time you guys see this video, I've probably been working on the knife for about two weeks now, and most of it is because of the sander. It's easy to mess up, so I take my time on it. So, on today's video, I have been commissioned to make a little skinning knife for a customer, and he's an avid hunter, so pressure's on. I'll make it out of 52 100 bearing race or maybe a roller bearing maybe I got two sizes here little teeny weeny little thing and then the bigger one and then I have a big race somewhere so I'll choose what I'll use to make it so really excited about the new sander uh, I'll be doing a build on that too video on the build with all the measurements and where I ordered my stuff from, it's here in Canada though, uh, knifemaker.ca. They're awesome, their prices are. Anyway, okay, without further ado, let's go. Here it is, got a sizable chunk out of it. The outside diameter is nine inches. There it is, that's what we're gonna use. <sighs> I will never have arms after this day. Okay, here we go. I think flatten this bad boy out first. She's almost a uh, uniform thickness. I can actually, if I want, cut it straight down the middle, right here, and get two little knives out of it. Okay, so I uh, just cut that end off, see what happens. Because apparently sometimes these um, are case hardened. Get to the quenching part and then it can't harden. So, let's uh, heat this up and uh, do a few tests on it. Definitely hardenable. There's Martin's side on it. Oh, yeah. Check it in uh, some oil. Cut those other two in half. Okay, let's uh, stick one of these in the forge and start shaping it into a knife. Okay, let's work this tip first. Okay, so I got the general shape of it. I'll uh, bring you guys back when I've thinned it out a bit more, stretched it out, and ready to start putting the bevels. Ok, 
Okay, got her all up to scratch. Now I'm gonna start forging in the hand. See how that goes. saw now in the pictures that it needs to have just a wee bit of a curve in it. So that's what I'm going to do. Put a curve in. That looks better. Butt end, I'll nip it off and I'll uh, work on this with a sander. And there you are with a little bit of magic. Little knife. It's uh, a little hot still. But Put it on my belt sander, there's still some burrs and stuff on here. Alrighty, that's the general shape. And now comes the fun part. Okay, this is how far we got. I cleaned it up with a grinder, and then I put it on my belt sander to even it out, take all the marks out. And um, I threw this on my bench grinder to get a nice little plunge line there. And to start to this bevel, both sides, as you can see. There it is. Um, what I'll try and do now is I'm gonna try and drill some holes here for the pins. If it doesn't work, because this is 50 to 100, I'll try with my forge to throw this in at 1600 Fahrenheit, give or take, um, letting it soak and then slowly cooling down by turning down my forge for, I don't know, probably an hour or so. If that doesn't work, I might try hot drilling or just good old fashioned hot punching. I finally got six holes drilled. I destroyed one, two, three, four, nine, ten. Ten drill bits. Um, next up, I guess, is I need to try and hollow this out, cut some of this stuff out, and uh, form that, which that's going to take a while. And then harden and temper and handle and hand sanding and all the fun things that goes into making a knife so let's uh i'll start cutting this stuff out i don't know how yet we'll figure it out well you look at that here i am again i'm gonna try and drill it because i need an access point to get a file in and stuff Woo! got a hole look at the hole Okay guys, I first I drilled a hole, then I started cutting with my Dremel reinforced discs. Then I used this carbide cutter. I don't know where right here. There you go. Use the carbide cutter and a stone to open it up. Clean that up a bit on the belt sander, uh, sanded the bevels in a bit, and um, I think we are ready to harden. That's one, two, three, 
too. And that's three. Now I'm just going to temper some of this back just a little bit before I actually throw it into the uh, oven to temper. And there it is. Okay, now before we start with the handle, I'm gonna quickly run this on my belt sander at 320 grit sanding paper. Dress this up, thin it down a little bit, and then I'll bring you back when I start gluing on the handle. I'll be using some micarta, homemade. So uh, yeah, I think it'll look good. Okay, trace the lines. That way, that way, I'll go cut them out. Okay, scales have been glued on with super glue and uh, drill the holes and then do the same for the other side. Okay, there it is. Now, I need to flatten these sides out. And after I flatten them out, I'll pin them and I'll start shaping the handle before I glue it on. And there it is. Look at that. Final stages, almost done. Um, got some Dremel work left, a little buffing, and uh, just general cleanup. And I'll bring you guys back for the end result. I'll do some nice slow mo shots or something. This knife took me about two weeks. Um, I don't have any fancy equipment, so 99.9% .9 of everything on this thing was done by hand. I really hope he likes this and he appreciates the amount of work that went into it because. Um, it was fun, learned a lot. So uh, without further ado, see you guys in the end. Fifty-two, one hundred. Little knife. It's really small. Perfect. Things I learned. This steel is from a different universe, completely. It hardens weirdly. It softens weirdly. Is that even a sentence? Weirdly. It's weird steel. Completely weird. And I ran headlong into this thinking, ha! 
It's 5200. It's just hard to forge. Mm -mm. No, there's science behind it. Lots of it. If you go and Google how to anneal this stuff, there is 3.2 billion thousand gazillion ways of working with this steel. And uh, one of them was quenching it in molten salt. I know. But after I tempered this thing twice, for two hours at 400, um, it's still pretty hard. Like, uh, pretty much still skates a file. But it's flexible, which is this, I don't know, this stuff's amazing. Can't wait to start the next one. So it's just a little skinning knife. Um, and I'm extremely happy with how this came out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, just word of caution, if you're new to this kind of stuff or you want to get into it, start to something different. Don't touch bearings. Well, you can for learning experience, but there's a few times where I just want to take this thing and just go and throw it away. So, brass pins, um, micarta, which I made myself. It's felt micarta. Yeah, pretty good. Hope you guys liked it. And uh, catch you on the next project. See ya.